But um, no, so the reason why the homeless crisis has been so severely exacerbated here in California is because of what's known as the homeless industrial complex, which is essentially a financial system where our governmental leadership will ask for uh, the federal will ask the federal government for tax dollars to build quote affordable housing. Um, because they've perpetuated this other myth called the housing crisis. So the homeless crisis here has nothing to do with housing. Well, let me stop no you. Are, are you are, are you saying that they're collecting the money to to quell the problem of homelessness, yet they're not doing what they said they would do with it? Because I know that Gavin Newsom is proposing $12 billion more billion to take care oh. of the homeless problem in California. Are you telling me if he gets that money, whether by federal or by taxpayers in California, um, that he's not going to use it in the right way? No, why would why would he ever want to do that when he could um, give all of that money to his real estate developer friends and non profits? It's just this, oh, Joe. I don't even know how to describe it. I don't know whether it's like a Ponzi scheme or like a tax loophole. I don't really know if there is even a term for the kind of financial corruption that is being perpetuated here. So those twelve billion dollars will go to city budgets, I think, mostly. Here in Los Angeles, we don't actually have any accountability for our city budget. So whatever gets put into the city just get just gets frivolously handed out in checks. Right. Um, last, I think it was last year or the year before, we received $1.3 billion um, for something called Measure Triple H, was, which was, again, to build affordable housing for the homeless here in California and in Los Angeles. They don't need affordable housing. They need mental health care. Yeah. Um, over 60% of that $1.3 billion, nowhere to be seen. The city controller did a huge investigation. 60% of it disappeared into thin air. Except it's not disappeared into thin air. It's disappeared into the nonprofits and into the real estate developers' pockets. You know, they're building this quote unquote affordable housing, but they're charging 26, was it, I think, yeah, $2,600, I think, for a tent in a parking lot wow. um, to house the homeless. That's what, what, like, and when they say they're charging that much, that's me and you being charged. Like, you are paying for this, even though you're not in California. That's how much money is coming from the Fed to perpetuate this crisis. Her name is Kay So why Smythe. would they clean it up? Why would they clean it up? Well, it's, a good, it's a good question. And there, but there's about, if I do my math right, it's about 500 million dollars that's left over i want to ask you about that it's k smythe s-m-y-t-h-e follow her on all the social media uh carol the letter n k dot com go there and check out their podcast she's the co-host of the carolyn k show what is it carolyn k save america is that what it is uh, no, it's Carolyn K. Save the USA, but we are absolutely going to save America okay. from becoming California. I know you're new here, but America and USA, they kind of mean the same thing. But it sounds better mm -hmm. saying Carolyn K. Save the USA than my non-rhyme in America. 